Okay guys, welcome to this White Rose Max PowerPoint presentation on calculate fractions of a quantity, so fractions of an amount. So this is aimed at predominantly Key Stage 2 math students, Key Stage 3 math students and GCSE Foundation tier math students and bits of it may be appropriate okay, for higher tier as well, okay, but it's aimed at predominantly Key Stage 3 students and key stage two okay and even key stage one maths as well okay because i've seen yeah fraction of an amount appear on a key stage one sats paper okay so it ranges all the way from all these levels okay but it's also appropriate revision for the students doing foundation tier this summer okay or even in november later this year or even next summer okay get ready okay so what rose Okay, so this is our starter. This is question number one. I've got one fifth times 15. So one fifth multiplied by 15. All I do here is I do the whole number times the numerator. So I do one times 15. And then I keep the denominator fixed as the number five. So one times 15 is 15. So I get 15 fifths. Okay, or 15 over five which simplifies to the whole number three. So it simplifies to the number three, okay? Question number two, a fifth of 15, so of, yeah, just means to multiply, so a fifth of 15, so you divide by the bottom and then times by the top, okay? 15 divided by five is three, and then we multiply by the top, so three times one, three lots of one, is equal to three okay so the word of okay means multiply a fifth multiplied by 15 okay question one and two mean the exact same thing but it's just worded here in a slightly different way okay the word of in maths means to multiply question number three five eighths times 40 well i'm going to do 40 divided by the denominator so divide by the denominator and then multiply by the numerator so 40 divided by 8 is going to be 5 and then we multiply by the numerator okay 5 times 5 5 lots of 5 is equal to 25 so your answer is 25 okay for that one question number four five eighths of 40 again a fraction of an amount we divide by the bottom and then times by the top so 40 divided by eight is five and then we multiply by the numerator okay or multiply by the top and we get 25 okay now in question one i did do like a slightly different method okay question one method yeah will also work okay if you multiply a fraction by a whole number you multiply the whole number by the numerator and you keep the denominator fixed so that method also yeah is appropriate and that will also um suffice okay for working out these these answers okay so white rose maths answers here we go 15 fifths k3 200 over 8 k which implies the 25 okay and 5 over 8 5 8 to 40 is 25 okay so just just to be clear actually guys yeah so the 200 has come from 5 times 40 so it's 5 times 40 all over 8 Eight. Okay, if you multiply a fraction by a whole number, you multiply the whole number with the numerator and you keep the denominator fixed. Okay, so that's where the 200 has come from. 5 times 4 is 20. And then add on the 0, I get 200 eighths or 200 out of 8, which simplifies to the number 25. Okay, because 8 going to 200 25 times. Let's look. Okay, white rose max. So a seventh of 42. A seventh of 42. So I take the whole number. I take the whole number. Divide it by the bottom. So 42 divided by 7. Which is 6. And then I multiply my answer by the top. So 6 times 1 is 6, guys. So you're always dividing by the bottom. And then multiplying by the top. Okay, divide by the denominator times by the numerator. Okay, 
So here is a pictorial diagram from White Rose Maths. Okay, so you, yeah, you got seven like rectangles, seven like little bars there. So each bar or each small rectangle or each small bar is is worth six. Six. Okay, plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six, plus six is forty two. This next one, three sevenths of forty two. Again, I divide by the denominator and then multiply by the numerator. Forty two divided by seven is six, and then I do six multiplied by the numerator. So divide by the bottom times by the top. Six times three, six lots of three is eighteen. So your answer to that question is 18. You are dividing by the bottom and then timesing by the top. Okay. So White Rose Maths uh, pictorial diagram. So from before we know that each yeah small bar. So each one of these bars is worth six. Okay. So you got six six six, which gives you 18. Okay. Six plus six plus six gives you 18. Okay, to the bar there, yeah, represents six. Okay, six times three is eighteen. Okay, right. This next one, one sixth of fifty-four. So I do fifty-four divided by six, guys. Fifty-four divided by six is equal to nine. Okay, and then I times by the top. So 9 times 1, or 9 lots of 1, is equal to the number 9. Okay, so the answer for that is 9. This next one, 5 sixths, or 5 sixths of 54. So again, divide by the bottom times by the top. 56 divided by 6 is 9, and then we multiply by the top. 9 lots of 5, so 9 times 5 is 45 and that's the answer for the second question okay and again there is a pictorial diagram here there to obviously help you okay nine okay nine times five is 45 okay this next one five thirds of 15 okay same idea i divide by the bottom and then times by the top okay 15 divided by three is five and then I multiply by the numerator, 5 times 5 is 25, okay, for this one, okay, now this topic here, I'm, I, I'm getting a bit off topic here, here, so this is actually increasing a quantity by a fraction, okay, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's increasing a fraction, by an amount okay and what i mean by that is here i've got essentially a top heavy fraction or an improper fraction which means that the number here is bigger than one so of means multiply if a number is bigger than one and i'm timesing it by 15 the answer will be bigger than 15 okay so in this case the answer is equal to 25 okay so if you ever have a top heavy fraction of a number the answer will be bigger than that original number okay or an improper fraction okay remember yeah this is what i call yeah an improper fraction when the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator Okay, or in primary school, yeah, it, 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 it might be referred to as um, top heavy. Okay, so you may have come across these terminologies before. Okay, so yeah, it's worth making like a little note. Okay, so top heavy fraction. Okay. So essentially, yeah, it is increasing an amount, yeah, by a fraction or with a fraction. Okay, is is increasing the amount here? Yeah. It is is what we call a fraction increase. Okay, for that. Okay. So again, there's our bar model. Three fifths, oh sorry, three thirds of fifteen is going to be fifteen, which makes sense. Okay. So fifteen divided by three is five. Five ten. Okay, 5 times 2 is 10, and then I'm going to add that on to 3 
thirds of 15, okay? Because this second part works out two thirds. Three thirds plus two thirds gives me five thirds, which gives me the answer of 25, okay? Three thirds plus the second one, which, yeah, so this part here works out two thirds. Remember that if you add fractions, three thirds plus two thirds gives you five thirds, okay? I just add the top numbers together, okay? I just add the numerators together and keep the denominator the same when I'm adding fractions, okay? But the denominator must be the same when I add or subtract fractions, okay, in maths. Five there. Okay, this next one, question number one, seven quarters of 32. Again, divide by the bottom and then times by the top. 32 divided by four is eight. And then I multiply by the top, so multiply by the numerator. So 8 times 7 is 56, guys. Okay, so this is obviously practicing your times tables, guys, as well, okay? So the answer is 56 for that one. Okay, and again, there is like a little pictorial diagram that you can utilize to work out your sum, okay? Here essentially it's worked out three quarters, okay? And here is worked out four quarters. So you would do four quarters plus three quarters, yeah, and that will give you seven quarters. This next one, 10 fifths of 45. Again, divide by the bottom and times by the top. There's nine. 9 times 10 is 90, okay, for that one. Now, some of you may have saw this, yeah, and thought, okay, well, yeah, there is surely, like, a quick, a quick way, actually, to actually work out your answer. Well, it's recognising that 10 fifths means 10 divided by 5, which gives you the number 2. So, essentially, yeah, it's 2 of 45. Remember, of means multiply. So, essentially, the sum, okay, yeah, in, in short terms or short format, is 2 multiplied by 45, okay, or 2 lots of 45. Double of 45 is 90, okay? So, that is like another, yeah, little shortcut there, okay? There, okay, because it's recognizing that 10 fifths simplifies to the whole number 2. So 10 fifths simplifies to the integer 2. Okay, remember that of means multiply, so it's 2 times 45, okay, or 2 multiplied by 45, 2 lots of 45 is 90, okay, so that's a little shortcut way, okay, for those of you that spotted that, yeah, for that one, okay. So answers for these. You've got 8 there, 8, 8, 8, 8 plus 3 is going to be 24, okay, 32 plus 24, because I've got 4 quarters plus 3 quarters, which gives you 7 quarters. which is one and one quarter, okay? Remember that these fractions are what are called top-heavy or improper fractions, okay? 56. This next one, working out here, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and then 2 of 45 means 2 times 45, which is equal to 90, okay? So there you go for that one, okay? But the old method would still work here, so, so I can still divide by the bottom, times by the top, yeah? Like, yeah, if, 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 if you didn't actually spot the, yeah, that 10 over 5 gives you 2, okay? Or, or if, you, yeah, or, or if you're not very strong here yeah, in times tables, then same idea works here for fraction of an amount. Okay, this question, guys, for part A, 5 eighths of 24, again, divide by the bottom times by the top, so 24 divided by 8 is 3, times 5 is 15. Okay, for part B, 17 twelfths of 24, divide by the bottom times by the top, 24 divided by 12 is 2, because 2 goes into 12 sorry, 2 goes into 24 12 times, and 2 times 17 is 34, okay, divide by the bottom times by the top, guys, for part C, a sixth of 24, or 1 sixth of 24, 24 divided by 6 is 4, times by 1, and I get 4, okay, 
for part D, 17 thirds of 24. Again, divide by the bottom times by the top. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 lots of 17. So let's just work it out here to the side. Okay. Because uh, yeah, I, I don't actually know that you're off the top of my head. So 8 times 7 is going to be 56. So 6 carry the 5. 1 times 8 is 8, plus the 5 is going to be 13. So your final answer is 136. Okay, now it wants us to label these or put these in these categories here in this table. So less than 24, that will be A and C. Between 4, 24 and 48 is going to be B. And then greater than 48 will be the letter D. Okay, so A and C go in this first um, column, okay, or first box, or first yeah, part of the table. B goes in the second part of my table, or or column, and D, and, and D goes in the third part of my table, okay? So A goes there, B goes there, C goes there, and D goes there, guys, okay? Right, this one here, okay, so the circle there here is just representing, are these equal to less than or greater than? Okay, so working this out, guys, 2 tenths of 60 divided by the bottom times by the top. So 60 divided by 10 is 6, and then we multiply by the top, 6 times 2 is 12, guys, okay? It's 12. Now for the right hand side, divide by the bottom and times by the top. 60 divided by 6 is 10. And then 10 multiplied by 2 is 20. Okay, so this answer is greater. So the inequality sign is going to point it to this direction. Okay, so the, think of it as the crocodile's mouth Yeah, is eating the bigger number. Okay, there's your bar model to represent this. Okay. For that, okay. So when the numerators are the same, the greater the denominator, the smaller the fraction. Okay, so what it's saying here is, it's saying that 2 tenths is smaller than 2 sixths. Okay. Because 2 tenths here simplifies to 1 fifth. And this system of us to one third, okay, and that's a bit more obvious. Now you can recognize that one third is bigger than one fifth, okay, because that's 0 0.2 as a decimal, and that's 0 0.3 reoccurring as a decimal, okay. So that's obviously blatantly obvious here, yeah, looking at place value, okay, that this number is greater, okay, or this number is bigger. Okay, so that is another way, yeah, so it's comparing the size of your fractions, okay. So this last one, okay, so let's just delete this here, so we've got a bit more space. Okay, so we've got four twelfths of 192 and one third of 192. Well, let's just simplify four twelfths, okay, so four twelfths, they're both even, so I can divide top and bottom by two, and I get two sixths. They're both even again, so I can divide top and bottom by 2, so I get 1 third. So, in fact, these give the same answer, because 4 twelfths is equal to 1 third. Okay, so they're actually both equal to each other, so I'm going to put an equal sign there. Okay, so... That's equal there, okay? And you can check by obviously working out your answer. 192 divided by 12 times by 4 will give you the exact same answer as 192 divided by 3 and then times by 1, okay? There we go, okay? For that, guys, okay? So, guys, that is... Okay, the end of today's video looking at fraction or fractions of an amount. Okay, hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, please like, please comment, please share and please subscribe. And I will see you all inside the next video. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye for now. Take care. All the best.